Hello, Joy San Anthony, aka JJ here, and I'm going to be experimenting with the line art modifier. The last video I made a couple months ago, I just showed how to apply the line art modifier. This time I'm actually going in and applying different modifiers on top of this one and to see what I can create. Okay, now that I have my scene completed, you go to add grease pencil and then scene line art. Okay, so this is what my scene is gonna look like and I wanted to add a thickness modifier. I added the thickness modifier just to make the lines a little bit easier to see. So now I'm going to go back to the line art modifier and bake my line art. Now that my line art has been baked, I'm going to hide my 3D elements and brighten the scene. And then I just wanted to play really quick. I added just a quick, I think it was 50 frame head turn of Suzanne. And I'm gonna turn off the light. So I really want an explosion. So on top of the line art and the thickness modifier, I'm going to add an offset modifier and go down to the bottom where it's randomized. And I'm gonna make a quick short animation with the offset X, Y, and Z. And here's my explosion. Yeah. Now I wanted to make some adjustments to my line art modifier and it wouldn't let me. So I have to scroll down and click continue without clearing. And after playing with the settings, if you go under style, you can play with the thickness and the opacity of the lines. So I don't have to add a thickness modifier. I can instead just go under um, style. And I know this is called the line art modifier, but you can always change that. So if you go to the materials properties and scroll down, I know right now it is under line type line, but I wanna change that to dots or maybe even squares. I want to add a little bit more movement to the scene, so I'm going to add a noise modifier and see how that comes out. Now let's play. Hmm, kind of trippy. In this experiment, I made a bonsai or baby bonsai tree. This is from Sophie's tutorial. I put a link in the description. The leaves and the top of the tree are my proudest part of the artwork. Don't look at the bottom, it's not that cute. <laughs> now that my tree is completed, I wanted to see what it would look like if I tried to add the line art modifier. So the modifier only goes around the, which was a UV sphere that was shaded smooth. So I need to adjust my tree so that the line art modifier will go around that too. So I'm gonna delete that line art and I'm going to select my tree and I'm going to change it from a grease pencil object into a bezier curve. Now I'm going to add the line art modifier. Hopefully you can kind of see the line art modifier on this tree because when I tried to play the animation, unfortunately, after a couple of seconds, this blend file crashed and when I tried to reopen it, it wouldn't let me. So yeah. This is a finished project that I made, which is, which is a physics simulation by Olaf 3D Tutorials. Again, link is in the bio. For this, I didn't add another modifier. I just wanted to see what it would look like with two 3D meshes crashing into each other.
and finally i made an abstract flower thanks to dougie 3d and again the tutorial is linked in the description and so this is what it looks like just as a regular flower with the line art And I kind of wanted to give it like a kind of watercolor -y effect, so I'm going to try to add the multiple strokes modifier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to keep on playing with this line art modifier. Until next time!